All right, this is the first video that I'm going to have in a series of videos. And what I'm going to do in this series of videos is kind of talk about uh, the trend I see here on YouTube with the tactical firearms mindset and all these running guns and, and the, the tactical type setups that they have as far as guns go. Um, this video is going to deal with one question. All right, if somebody's asking, if I'm going to be tactically, so-called tactically proficient, what kind of firearm do I need to defend myself? And we're talking like, let's say, we're talking about these, uh, let's go to fantasy land and talk about the shit hit the fan type scenarios. If you really want to buy a, a, a firearm out there that you can use in case, you know, China invades or whatever, you know, the world turns topsy-turvy, it goes for the surreal, and things just start happening. Armageddon happens, and you're looking for the rifle, your, your end-of-the-world gun. What do you need? Well, everybody has different, uh, you know, different answers to that question. Well, here's my answer. All you need is something that you can run. My example I'm showing right here, this is a Mosin Nagant M9130. This is a $100 rifle. And I have an ammo pouch here that uh, was included with it. So uh, you can see right here, this is one of those simple leather ammo pouches. I have it full of ammo, by the way, here I'll show it to you. Uh, on this side, I got 180 grain full metal jacket ammo. And then we've got the uh, 148 grain. This is that Czech silver tip. Awesome ammo, real accurate, hard hitting. You know. I got sitting right around 50 rounds in here. They're loose, but they ain't going to go nowhere. And then I have this little $5 slip on here. I only have five rounds on it, but it'll hold nine. And then, of course, the Mosin Nagant, which is just a basic stock. There's nothing fancy about this thing. Five-round capacity, simple 9130. Now, that's what I have. This rig right here, you're talking $100 or so, $100, $110 to get the rifle with the pouch. Five dollars to get the slip on, and the sling comes with it too. Five dollars to get this little slip on deal, and then you know, go spend. Uh, you can go online and get, uh, you know, heck, I just, uh, I just looked online. You can get for about fifty bucks. You can get two hundred rounds of uh, Bulgarian one hundred and forty-seven grain steel core ammo. That's a good deal all day long. Uh, you can also get tons of, you know, there's all kinds of deal on corrosive ammo out there, and if you if if you're one of those that tends to shy away from corrosive, this is a Mosin Nagant. Don't worry about it. If you have this rifle, just when you're done shooting, use Windex, clean out the bore and your uh, bolt. The bolt right here. Take this bolt assembly apart. Clean it with uh, Windex first. Clean out inside here with Windex your chamber and your bore before you do any other cleaning, and you'll be good to go. In any case. This is a good example of what you need. And you might say, well, what in the world would an old World War II relic rifle do as far as, you know, in today's age of the Uber AR-15, the AK-47, tactical vests, all that good stuff. Well, if, let's say, the end of the world came, I can take this. This will go on any regular belt. You know, I don't need to worry about putting on tactical pants or tactical stuff. I throw this on a belt, there's my extra ammo, I grab this, load it up, and now I've got a rifle that I've practiced with and I know that I'm effective out to 500 yards with. I can hit a man-sized target at 500 yards with this rifle, with this $100 rifle. So there's my capability. Sure, it's longer than a you know conventional tactical rifle such as an AR or an AK, you know, it's longer, it's heavier, doesn't hold nearly as many rounds, and it's slower. But if I'm good with it, and number one, the 762 by 54 hour is a great round. It's a hard-hitting round, so I don't need to worry about stopping power. Not only will I stop a man-sized target, I can also, you know, easily take down deer, elk, moose, which is great for, you know, it doubles as a hunting rifle. So here is this rifle I have for 100-something odd dollars. The whole setup that I have sitting right in front of this camera right here, you can have for about 200 bucks. That's including the ammo. Easy. Uh, for even under, well under 200 bucks, if you do it right. So for this simple setup, I have a rifle that 
I can be considered deadly out to 500 yards. And it doesn't matter if the person is wearing every piece of tactical gear on the market. If I see him and he doesn't see me and I get a shot off at him, I'm going to drop him. And then I'm just going to go over and I'm going to take his AR-15 or whatever rifle he has and all of his gear and everything for myself. So that's just kind of an example, you know. There's going to be different answers to the question, what do you really need? But my, que my answer to that question is use what you have already. Use it to your advantage. If you have a bolt-action rifle, it doesn't matter if it's a Mosin Nagant or if it's an old M77 Ruger, uh, if it's your grandfather's old 270 rifle or old 30-06, whatever it is, get out there, learn to use it before you start worrying about spending money on all this tactical gear. Because another thing about this Mosin Nagant, this Mosin Nagant right here, it's slow and it's cumbersome, but it will outlast every AR-15 out there. And the reason I say that is, number one, it's already stood the test of time. This particular model was built in 1928 and it still shoots accurately. Number two, these things are made to run dirty. It's a bolt-action rifle. I can just shoot it and shoot it and shoot it and never worry about cleaning it. Except maybe taking the bolt out and maybe wipe, taking a rag to the chamber every now and again. Or maybe taking a piece of 550 cord, maybe uh, tie a couple knots in it and run it down the bore after soaking it in motor oil. You know, this thing will run and run well after something like an AR-15 or even an AK-47 has done malfunctioned. Uh, for those of you that say AK-47s never fail, that's a lie. Uh, anybody that's been to Afghanistan and has fought alongside with the Afghani forces, you know, they'll tell you about the AK-47s that have shot out barrels, which is not accurate anymore. They're breaking. There's the Pakistani AKs that are just horrible knockoffs. They break every two seconds. So, in any case, you know, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here. But, uh, you know, think about it. Being tactically proficient doesn't always mean buying all the tactical gear on the market and dressing up like your G.I. Joe. It just means knowing what you have, knowing the limitations of what you have, and knowing how to use it. So I'll go ahead and stop this video. Uh, if any of you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them, as always. Uh, thanks for watching.